just letting y'all know. I didn't agree with him getting suspended. So I'm going to tell you right now, free read. Before we get into our show, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Holland Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7989 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. I am Daniel Gidwell. No, that is John Lewandowski. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. We cover every league, Admirals and Predators and Atlanta Gladiators related. Thank you for watching us. Today, the Milwaukee Admirals took out the Texas Stars in game four. It was do or die for the Admirals. Now, on, now on to Reed Schaefer. The reason I, I'm going to get into that really quick. The reason I did not agree with his suspension is it did happen in the first period. He was kicked out of the game with a five-minute charging major and a game misconduct. So that's already a most, pretty much a one-game suspension. So I just didn't agree with suspending him for a whole other game. It, it, it just, I didn't agree with it. Uh, but now, on to the game. Game four. <laughs> All right, so shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshot Texas 8-4. to four. In the second period, Texas outshot Milwaukee 13-9. to nine. In the third period, Texas outshot Milwaukee eight to six, and in total, Texas outshoots Milwaukee 25-23. On the power play, Texas goes 0 for 4 with six minutes, three infractions, and Milwaukee goes one for two with 10 minutes, five infractions. Scoring in the first period at the 641 mark for the Admirals was Zach LaRue scoring his second of the postseason on the power play. Assisted by Yusuf Parson in his fourth and Ryan Ufko his second. And at the 728 mark, the Admirals get on the board again with another goal from Zach LaRue, his second of the game, third of the postseason. That goal was unassisted. We should call him the star killer. <laughs> and stars fall from the sky. <laughs> then in the second at the 453 mark. Texas gets on the board with a goal from Matei Blummel, his fourth of the postseason, assisted by Frederick Karlstrom, his fifth, and Oscar Buck, his third. All right, in the third at the 12-22 mark, it was Phil Tomasino, his third, with an assist from Fedor Spechkov, his first of the postseason, and Ozzy Weisblatt, his first of the postseason. Then at the 18-42 mark, the empty net. The empty net gives us our fourth with an assist from Graval, his second. Admirals win four to one. In net for the stars was Remy Fourier. He stopped 19 of 22, allowing three. Your three stars of the game, third star of the game was Troy Grosnick. He stopped 24 of 25. Second star of the game was Bill Tomasino. And first star of the game, for the second game in a row, Zach LaRue with two goals. Um, Don't get much better than this. Came out swinging again. Popped him in the mouth early on. In the first 10 minutes of the game, you want to set the tempo. You want to get the, you know, the push back. Yeah. Um, it looks like they did exactly what they needed to do. Um, it looks like uh, we play Sunday at 5. Yep. So come on out, Milwaukee. I know the Brewers play at one. We play at five. You can leave in the ninth inning. <laughs> We're only playing the Cardinals, who we beat a lot of into two today. <coughs> All righty. Um, it. With that being said, do you? Do you put um, Schaefer back in and Paul Campbell back out, or would you let Campbell go another game? I, I, I just didn't see enough from Campbell to where Schaefer is a physical, you know? Yeah, I'd probably put Schaefer back in. 
I think Campbell is a minus one, which I mean isn't bad, but yeah, he he didn't really stand out to me today on that goal. Yeah. So you know, cause I think that was him, uh, O'Reilly and Kebble. So I'm I'm not too upset about it. Um, Troy's played phenomenal. We as Admiral fans have definitely gotten Poirier's head. Yeah. That is one thing I will say is our fan base has definitely gotten Poirier's head. Um, he was getting a little ang uh, angry with us over in our area. Um, so, um, I I'll be honest with you, I didn't see this going five. Now that it is, I can see us winning five. Yeah. But it is what it is. Whatever happens on Sunday is the result. At the end of the day, you pushed it to an elimination game for both teams. Yeah. We'll see how Texas plays with their back against the wall. <clears throat> and the Admirals seem to be, and I'm just saying, seem to be the more aggressive team right now. Yeah. On the puck, on the body, they're hitting anybody and everybody that moves. I'm even seeing Kemmel hit people. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, um, it's just di there's a difference in the way that they're playing from game one and game two to game three, game and game four. Yeah, had they played like this in game one and in game two, we'd be go they'd be home already. But I think that time off, the week and a half, I think it was like a week and five days or so, um, before we played again from our yeah. last game. There was like four days off before the new ser the 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 play in series even started. It's one of the reasons I don't like the play in series. If you're gonna do that, at least if you're gonna give the team a buy, um, give them the buy that they gotta play the third seed and the second seed's gotta play whoever wins that. That way you can start that series and they get the buy. I understand how that you we would want you would want the time off, but I don't want rust. There's a difference between rest and rust. You know, I think it for us it got to rust. Yeah. You know? It's it's almost like a team who um you're you're in the NFL. Like you know the team that gets the first round by? Yeah. That 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 team sometimes gets their butt kicked the next week. It's rest and rust. That's two weeks off. Non combative. Non, you know, so yeah. um <clears throat> Other question is, do you ride with Troy again, or do you give Yarrow a shot? I don't know. I go with Troy. Just ride the hot hand. Ride the hot hand. That's what I'd say. Uh, Yarrow looked a little rattled, but, you know, Yarrow looked... You know, the one thing about Yarrow, and I'm, I'm going to say this consummate professional, um... He's just as happy to see Troy win as it is to for him to win. Right. You know, um, the guys were amped up even after the game when they were, you know, skating around. They were they were hyping us up even more after the game. You know, they were skating up and down the boards, up, you know. So um, I, I just think that they have a lot more to give, and you, they, it's, it's almost like they kept a little in reserve in that third. Yeah. Um, you can tell that they had more in the tank. They just didn't want to use it. Yep. They know that they had the – once Tomasino scored, you knew they knew they had that game in the bag. 
And all I had to do was get the EN. Yeah. And that was that was that was an important goal. That was a big moment goal. And if I'm Nashville, I'm looking at it going, I hope those words of motivation. Sometimes when you get cut down badly by the by the brass at the top end, um, they don't light a fire under your butt to prove them wrong. Yeah. And guess what? Nothing will make them happier to be wrong. There are times where I'll say something out of here and I'll go, prove me wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I want them to. Now, um, upcoming we do have uh, that game on Sunday. It is looking like... Coachella is winning against Cal. Great. Yep. It looks like Calgary is about to get eliminated. So Coachella will be moving on. Um. Let's see. Uh, also around the league, Hartford's beating uh, beat uh, Providence. That series is currently sitting at uh, this is game four. Game three or game four? Game four. Okay, yeah. Uh, Hartford moves on. I believe Cleveland moved on tonight. Yep. Cleveland uh, eliminated Bellevue. Yep. Cleveland eliminated Bellevue in four. Uh, Syracuse uh, one against Rochester in game five, so they're done. Rochester's done. Um, I do feel bad for Rochester a little bit. They had a really good squad. Um, congratulations to them on their season. Uh, former Admiral over there is Jeremy Davies. Um, there's uh on Syracuse there's an ad, there's a guy who was an admiral for like five seconds and that's Philip Myers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um Wow. Blue Cross Arena tonight for them. Yeah. Thousand seven hundred. Um tomorrow Hershey takes on the ball in the game four. And I believe that series is led by Hershey. Yep. It is two to one. Uh, beyond that, I've got uh, anything else? Sunday. Sun so the next series will start Thursday, May 16th against uh, Cleveland versus Syracuse. So that's the start of that one. They've already got two dates for that series. Um, uh, for those of you that do know, Spencer Stansby, uh was assigned to us via Nashville. Um, I do not know what his condition is. He did not play tonight, but that don't mean that he won't, you know? Right. It, it may have been a precautionary thing of, okay, let's see where you're at, get those legs going and practice a couple days, and then if you're good to go, you're good to go. If not, we'll hold you off. 
Um, I think that they're fine in the defensive part department. Um, they look like uh, Livingstone was out there. Um, he's close to return, so I I just don't see it. Um, but at the same time, do you want to take Ufko out? Ufko's been playing really good. Yeah, and and that's who's partnered with Stastny's partner. Unless you want to put Ufko with somebody else, but who are you going to take out the lineup? Go we'll take out. I mean, that's that's kind of the question, ain't it? Who who you? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, all right. If you had to pick a defenseman to put out of the lineup, uh, the defensemen that played were Wills B. Gross, McEwen, Uff, Cobra, Valdo, Geisel. I, I wouldn't change it. All right. It, it's tough, but I wouldn't change it as much as I would want Stastny to play. Um, if anything, maybe gross. But that's only if you want him for the power play. All right. Which, that's that other part where Stastny's really dangerous. Um... So we'll see where we're at. Thank you all for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We are exhausted. We are going to go rest because we get to do this again on Sunday. Mm -hmm. To you all, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check out our sponsor and support the Admirals and Predators and us by giving us a like or subscribe on Facebook or YouTube.